Hello, my name is David Florian, and I'm a biomedical engineering graduate student in the Gelcher Lab at Vanderbilt University. In the midst of the recent pandemic, our lab has attempted to provide a solution to the COVID-19 testing crisis that occurred at the beginning of the outbreak. Before high-throughput screening kits were available, labs were manually performing quantitative polymerase chain reactions, or qPCR, to amplify and identify the presence of viral genes. qPCR is a tedious and error-prone process, and manual sample preparation was part of the reason patients experienced long turnaround times for the results. Commercial automatic liquid handlers that can prepare samples for qPCR without human intervention exist, but they are expensive and are rarely found in budget-strapped academic labs. While increasing the number of automatic liquid handlers would improve our nation's capacity for testing, I can also tell you as a graduate student in the biological sciences that access to an automatic liquid handler would have many benefits to my research outside of the context of the pandemic. Higher throughput and more reproducible data are just a few advantages because qPCR is a routine assay performed in the lab to quantify gene expression. For these reasons, we decided to design an affordable automatic liquid handler from open source parts that can be quickly assembled for around $1,000. This machine is known as Auto. Auto is more than just a linear motion platform that can accurately position a micropipette in 3D space. This instrument was designed to perform lights out qPCR sample preparation. The micropipette rides on spring loaded linear rods, allowing it to load tips with constant pressure. This floating head design also prevents the micropipette from getting damaged when there are obstacles in the Z direction, such as a micro centrifuge tube that was accidentally left closed. A limit switch will be triggered when such an obstacle is encountered, halting the liquid handling process and notifying the user. After a tip is loaded onto the micropipette, lasers check to make sure that the tip is properly seated and is not bent. Auto then proceeds to mix, draw up, and dispense the appropriate reagents for qPCR in the assay plate before ejecting the tip and repeating the process. We have benchmarked Auto and shown that its accuracy is limited only by the pipette that is used. To lower the barrier of building Auto, we selected open source and popular components to construct Auto from. For example, an Arduino coordinates the movement of the stepper motors. Linear actuators that position the micropipette are constructed from open source rails, which are well documented and come in a variety of different lengths, which allow for Otto's work envelope to be doubled or even tripled. To make the assembly as painless as possible, we have created an online CAD model that has every part involved in the build. You can explore and modify Otto before even purchasing a single component. This CAD model, software, and instructions to build this affordable liquid handler are available on our website, openliquidhandler.com. We also submitted a manuscript detailing the design criteria of Auto, which we will link in the description below when it is accepted for publication. While I was the lead inventor of this project, it wouldn't have been possible without the guidance from Dr. Gelcher and hard work from three Vanderbilt undergraduates, Mateusz Ozomek, Sari Oak, and Hannah Chen.